welcome Ed Lightners. We're here in the basement of the USC Music Library and we want to talk a little bit about our research. I'm doing quantitative research and Tracy's doing qualitative. Um, and we just want to talk about some of what we're learning uh, this semester and how it's going to inform us moving forward in our research. So I'm taking a qualitative uh, inquiry class and I'm learning about different strategies for gathering data and qualitative research and so far we focused on interviews and observations and data analysis and I've learned that qualitative research is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you know a lot of our classmates kind of shied away from doing quantitative research uh, because a lot of stuff that we're doing now is really statistics and math intensive uh, but some of the things that I'm learning is how important validity and reliability is because when we make our assertion at the end of our um, of our uh, research and our findings, we have to be able to generalize that across a broad area, which might be different from you, Tracy, when you got to your Yeah, results. qualitative research isn't as generalizable as quantitative research. It's more so where you gather rich, experiential information on a given research topic, and then the readers who read your research are able to decide whether or not um, that information is applicable to their setting. So it's not generalizable to all students or all teachers, but only those who see that relation. Yeah, we've been using this uh, program called SPSS uh, where we look at data, we put data inside SPSS and it gives us a whole bunch of different variables and numbers and things, and uh, you use those things to really see if what you're measuring is uh, what. What, what the relationship is between the variables that you're measuring. And in qualitative research, we take our interviews and we take our observations and we code them. We find similar trends and topics and we code different parts of the interview and the observations. And there's data um, programs that you can use for that or you can just use Excel. And that's how you draw conclusions in qualitative research. Yeah, so this is just real general, uh, the differences between quantitative and what I'm doing and qualitative and what Tracy's doing. Uh, if you have any more specific questions, just make sure and uh, ask us there at the comment line below and we'll be happy to get back with you. We're always looking for ideas for new videos, so if you want to know more about something, just let us know and we'll uh, do what we can to bring it to you. Fight on. Fight on USC.